Hey guys, Old Jack Burton back again for another episode of Crusader Kings 2, uh, a Game of Thrones modification. This officially is uh, now episode 6. Uh, if you watched the previous one, um, I did not um, have a little bit of an editing mess up. <laughs> so you got two episodes for the price of one there. Uh, I've recently updated the game. It has had a bit of a side effect because I've lost my save game. So what we're going to have to do is let me give you a bit of an update on the situation here. Now obviously, when we last uh, left, the Kingdom of Westeros was under the rule of uh, a Lannister, a little girl. So in fact, Daenerys had died, then along comes Joffrey. Joffrey died in quick succession, leaving this little Lannister girl on the throne. Well, the priests of Rylor have been busy. And look, she's back, she's returned. Um, but with all good news comes bad news. We've got Joffrey as well. So sorry about that, nothing I can do about it. The save is gone. Uh, so unless I decide to get up and kill them myself, uh, we're a bit knackered. So popping back down to the tour, here I am. Uh, Trebor the Incapable. <laughs> as I like to call him. Um, we're still licking our wounds from getting our rear ends kits from Yarnwood. Um, obviously we have a new ruler, Princess Ariane of Dawn, um, after Martel died. So right now one of my daughters is stuck in Sunspear. Um, so that's pretty much where she's at. In one of the previous episodes um, I wish actually had a son and my son died. Um, there he is there, poor Will Willem, Willem Sand, he was a bit of a bastard, um, but I really wanted a male heir, but uh, Old Cart, who's been watching the series, correctly pointed out that I'd totally forgotten that the secession laws in Dawn indicate, doesn't matter, boy or girl, whoever's the oldest rules, uh, that's a very good point. But then that also got me thinking that I've been trying to marry people off and I've not been marrying them matri matrinary, matrinary? Oh, that's a word I can't say. You know the word I mean. There we go. Matrin oh, I can't say it. That one. Right there. <laughs> so when succession laws are female and obviously they're my heirs, I need to start doing that. Um, obviously, because I don't want anyone trying to get a claim through me that way. Okay, so onwards and upwards, uh, let's try and see where we can go. Now my goal of this is this girl here, Ulla, uh, she's 8 years old, well she's not called Ulla, she's Mora Ulla, uh, 8 years old, uh, she's the heir to Hellhot. So ideally, we need him to die before I die, and then we need her to grow up before I die and marry me. So there's a lot of ifs, buts and whens, but uh, Let's see what we can do. Now I've got my friend here in the Scourge. Uh, he is actually just managing the economy, collecting some taxes for me. Our small council remains the same. There's been no change there whatsoever. Alaric's doing a great job in his newly appointed office, although he is still a rather crappy nine. Um, I have no money, so I can't go ahead recruiting anyone else right now, unfortunately, for that. We have Jane, as you can see here, she's off in Planky Town. Which is here, trying to get a, a claim on that for me. Oh, someone's died. Oh, a Dane's died. That's a shame, I quite like the Danes. In the book, that is. I've not even met them in this game yet. Hmm, okay. Nothing I can do about that. So as you can see here, a uh, couple of titles now, not that many. Obviously, I gave that one away to, m to my main man, Timoth. Uh, kind of a reward because he won the trial by combat, so I figured, why not? Married him to my daughter, give him the scourge. Obviously, go still. They're still not very, uh, very happy with me. 
Well, they weren't until I lost that war, and then they uh, managed to get the lands back, and uh, she's actually quite happy with me now. Obviously, it was a mum who wasn't uh, too happy with me, but she uh, died in my dungeons. Ah, here she is, Lady Layla. Um, she was the one in the original save who actually became queen in the end, so... Good on her, just consider it sort of an alternate universe. So let's speed it up a little bit, because I'm very limited with what I can do right at this very moment, purely because of my money issues. But the important thing is, I've learned a valuable lesson, and that's I need to take over a few more uh, a few more domains before I can take on Yarnwoods. All oh, right, who's she going to war with? Hmm. So I can oppose her. I've always liked Daenerys, so let's oppose her for now. Well, not bother, should I say. So you can see straight away, obviously I've been segregated from the rest. They've still taken my bloody troops, though. So that's a little annoying. She's not happy. So hopefully, uh, Daenerys can help me out a little bit here. Not that I'm doing anything because I'm incapable. I'm probably lying in some bed, uh, dribbling down my chin. It's a uh, <laughs> good old Red Castle and probably Myria. bit till something happens. A lot of movement. Oh, that's so bad. Could do with getting some visibility up in King's Landing. Let's go Rick Castle, you can go up there. King's Landing to scheme with the best of them though. Or maybe you can't. Oh, why can't you? Ah, right. Because I'm not under... yeah. It's not one of mine. Okay, we'll build a spy network. that in King's Landing? Quite a large army there. Now normally if I had money I would consider uh, being a little bit of a rebel, uh, <laughs> but obviously I have no money whatsoever, um, so this will probably see what we can do about some plots. Oh that was quick. Lord Tywin lady, oh right, okay Tywin, oh Tyrion even. How did little time would die? Died a cripple. Poor lad. Not too dissimilar to the books where he died a cripple on a toilet. Let's see what we've got on in the world of plots. Not so bad. It looks like my daughter's just trying to kill her off. Gaston Grey, there's not too much going on there. Yeah, 
can see this is the only difference because you know I've chosen to marry her to him it means that any of their offspring are all Martels so I've run the risk of obviously my lineage coming to an end here um, let's just double check my other daughter and there she is Well, at least I've got a couple of a uh, couple of good old grandkids there. He's my son-in-law. Hopefully, he'll produce some kids. Because if I recall correctly, I did marry them the correct way, did I? Oh, who knows? In fact, nine. Okay, it's gonna be so creepy when I actually finally marry her. going on here one week claim nah you're okay Quentin I'm not going to uh, go through that heartache again yeah so I know this one isn't too action packed but these are uh, not too much I can do right now Oh, Ariane Martel, Master of Laws. Okay. She has declared Westland's Royal for... Oh, there we go, something interesting. So we've got uh, Lord Syrian. Lila actually is though. Whose kid is she? Well anyway, it looks like the Lannisters are at war with uh, the Targaryens and most likely Dawn as well. Should I go and help? <laughs> I would say yes, but look at the amount of troops I don't have. Even my personal levies. It's uh, not too much at all. Maybe I should just start rebuilding it. He's here training them. It's not taking a, taking a bit of time now. Okay, let's speed through this a little bit. No, I say I know I'm going a bit fast. What? Just as I'm saying, we're going a bit fast. Lord Trevor, the incapable has died. He died comatose in his bed and let's just uh, let's relive his life a little bit. He was extremely incompetent steward wise. He was a craven as I recall and uh, yeah incapable and he was also scheduled to marry a child as well so so be it unfortunately so it doesn't look like the tour will get their revenge. Originally said at the beginning, this series uh, for the tour will last as long as Trevor, Trevor, the Incapable does. Unfortunately, he's just not been up to the task. So this series is going to come to an end, and I'm going to start something a little bit new. Okay, thanks for watching. Hey guys, one last thing, I almost forgot. Let's have a look at the score. There he is, a pitiful score, 618, but obviously this series hasn't been that long whatsoever. So as you can see, I rule for 12 years, 429 points altogether. So all in all, not a very good start, but it has, a, it has taught me a few lessons and uh, I'll come back bigger and stronger. Well, that's what I tell myself anyway. <laughs> Thanks for watching.